All right, so here we have the Sky Pocket Edition. You'll see I have the mount here set up. The telescope is acting like it's on the east side of the mount right now. So we can come on over here and we can say, let's see if I can do this here, menu, telescope, establish link. You should now find it and it'll go to where it thinks that it actually is. This may have absolutely no bearing on where it is right now. So the first thing to end up doing is telescope, then we say um, settings, and it'll come up now in just a second and it'll say where it thinks is the telescope on the east or the west side of the mount. Well, it's actually on the east side of the mount. These other things it should actually sort of fill in automatically here. By default, it's going to be side your old tracking and it'll actually detect the 24 volt supply and everything automatically. So no huge issue kind of there. Once I've told it though it's on the east side, I think I figured out that really what you need to do is terminate the link and then establish the link again for it now to actually really be on the east side. Uh, that was the one little thing that I always thought was a little bit strange in this. So let's tell it, for example, that I'm going to look, be looking to the west. I would tell it something like, okay, here, you can get it to show the constellations and everything. But I could say, okay, look, right now I'm going to sync because I've aimed my telescope manually and with a hand box or whatever here at Deneb. I'd say sync, tap OK to synchronize it on this object. Bada boom, we're done. So it now thinks that we're here. And I can say something like, oh, let's now go to uh, Vega here. Center, sorry, slew. And the uh, mount will now go off and head on itself over to uh, um, to Vega. And that's basically how the go-to kind of stuff and everything actually works on here. And there we go. That's really kind of all there is to it. The rest and everything should be covered in the manual, but there was that one little thing about actually getting the uh, uh, the link up and everything. It would help if I actually had the mount turned, uh, turned on here. Now you hear it actually doing the slew, and you can now see this thing moving. I had the mount power turned off, and that's why it wasn't uh, wasn't going, but it sort of knew this command was there, was in its standby mode, and so you can now see that it's moving, and it's tracking along here saying, yeah, in fact, I'm heading toward M57. Mm. Of course, as you're going along here, you can zoom in and zoom in then. You can filter and say what else should be on here, et cetera, et cetera. And so you have a very nice sort of, you know, little planetarium package and everything nicely working here along with this. And uh, that's kind of all there is to that.